I want to do a puti and I hope you all are doing wonderful out there. Chapter number 3, video number 4. That is grade 6. Science is in front of you and we have been learning water as a natural resources. And today, types of water based on salinity. That's what we will learn about. The word salinity is a new word for you. I know that. And you will understand what is that word after learning this lesson. What you will learn in this session, okay, how to categorize water based on salinity and how to identify that water based on salinity. These are the two things that you are going to learn. So end of the session, you will know how to categorize water based on salinity and how to identify that water based on salinity. Lovely. Let's get into the subject without further delaying. Why does seawater taste salty? Have you ever taken and tried seawater? Just like this boy? No, it is very salty, right? You can't have it. So dissolution of different things in water is a special property of water. So when you're taking the water, there are so many things getting mixed in the water. So that is more in the seawater they are telling. So many things are dissolved in seawater. Sodium chloride is a one type of salt dissolved in seawater excessively. What is that? Sodium chloride. Remember that magic word, right? This is the reason for seawater to taste salty. So, the mainly the sodium chloride is more in the seawater. That is one reason the seawater tastes very much salty. So, based on salinity or saltiness, Water can be further categorized into fresh water, marine water, and brackish water. One more time, fresh water, marine water, and brackish water. The fresh water, you know that it's very beautiful, and marine water is a sea water, and brackish water is something in between the fresh water and the marine water. Now, do you know that how the salt is getting extracted? Okay, salt, sodium chloride, is produced in salt by vaporizing seawater. That means when the seawater is collected in one place and when the water is taken away from that seawater, the sodium chloride will get produced, just like that in front of you. So the salt what you are eating at home is sodium chloride. That is mostly coming from the sea water. Lovely, isn't it? Okay. Now, fresh water. The water in wells, ponds, rivers, streams, waterfalls, that is known as fresh water. You know that one. So, the amount of salt dissolved in fresh water is very low. The amount of salt dissolved in fresh water is very low. They are not telling it zero, but it is very, very low. Now, the second one is about marine water. The water found in seas and oceans is known as marine water. The water found in seas and ocean is known as marine water. You know that the amount of salt dissolved in marine water is very high. Right. And the brackish water. The water in found in lagoons is known as brackish water. Where you find this brackish water? The lagoons you find the brackish water. The amount of salt dissolved in brackish water is less than marine water but higher than fresh water. So the fresh water and the brackish water when you are taking and you are trying to drink, yes fresh water will not have that much of salt than the brackish water. So the brackish water has salt also but less than the sea water. Right? You know that one. So based on the saltiness which one is more salty so that we are going to put that one into line fresh water is less salty and brackish water coming into the second place and the more more saltiness is coming to marine water as per this so the more salty is always marine water now let's find the saltiness in water let's find the salt salinity in water that means salinity and saltiness both are same. Let's find the salinity in the water. To do that one, what we want, we want 10 grams of salt. Drinking water 
a 50 milliliter beaker and a triple beam balance. Let's understand this one. Put 25 milliliter of water into 50 milliliter beaker and measure the weight. We're going to put 25 milliliter of water just like this. We put that one inside and then after that what we're going to do? Let's put that one and measure the weight. Okay, so we're going to measure the weight with that one. Once we started measuring it is giving somewhere around 2.25 grams. When we are measuring it, it is giving somewhere around 2.25 grams. Now, what I'm going to do is, we are going to put 2 grams of salt and a little amount of water into the same beaker and dissolving well and add water into the beaker till the volume of the salt solution becomes 25 milliliter. Now, this particular water is 25 milliliter water with how many grams of salt? 2 grams of salt. Now, when we are weighing that one, it's coming somewhere around 2.75. Earlier it was 2.25. Now, you see a small gradual increment in the weight or mass. You can call it as mass. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to put 6 grams of salt and a little amount of water into the same beaker and dissolving well. Now, this beaker has 6 grams of salt mixed in this water but that is also 25 milliliter now what we did we measure it now the c it is 3.15 over here 3.15 the first one is without salt the second one is with 2 grams salt and the third one is with a 6 gram salt when the saltiness is increasing the mass is also increasing do you understand that one so it can be concluded that the mass of the water is high with salinity Based on this, we can separately identify fresh water, marine water and brackish water. So it can be concluded that the mass of water is high with salinity. Based on this, we can separately identify fresh water, marine water and brackish water. When we are taking the mass of the water, which one will be more higher? The marine water. The second, the brackish water and the third, fresh water. So we understood that you can do the same particular test at home and check the mass from your kitchen scale also. Beaker with water, beaker with 2 grams of salt, dissolve water and beaker with 6 grams of salt, dissolve in water. So now we know how to categorize water based on salinity and how to identify that water based on salinity, don't we? I'm going to meet you in another beautiful session. Till then, bye-bye, take care of yourself.